So Yeovilton is, is a base in Somerset, um, one of the two Royal Naval Air Stations in the country, and it houses the Commander Helicopter Force um, with their Sea Kings, Merlins and Wildcat, the Navy's Lynx and Wildcat Maritime Force, so the, the Lynx and um, Wildcat which go to frigates and destroyers around the world, and also the Army's Aviation Reconnaissance Force. Um, with their Wildcat AH aircraft. And I understand you have both Royal Navy and Joint Helicopter Command aircraft here? Absolutely. Uh, and so the, the Navy's, as I say, the Navy's Lynx Wildcat Maritime Force providing small ships flights to um, frigates and destroyers and occasionally um, Royal Fleet Auxiliaries and occasionally um, HMS Ocean and in the future the aircraft carriers. Um, those are based here and um, parented here and, and force generated here before they go to their ships um, which deploy around the world. The, so that's the naval assets here. Then we have the Joint Helicopter Command's um, battlefield helicopters, um, both the Commander Helicopter Force, so naval aircraft um, operating mainly predominantly in support of the Royal Marines um, and also the Army's Aviation Reconnaissance Force newly arrived here, one regiment Army Air Corps which has arrived and building up in the last couple of years uh, and uh, flying the Wildcat um, reconnaissance variant. And you have both uh, training and operational squadrons? Yep, so um, helicopter pilots go through their training, go through the Defence Helicopter Flying School up at RF Shawbury and then come to um, their front line um, aircraft uh, and so both Army and Navy um, flying training takes place here at Yeovilton in, in Wildcat and Merlin. And the Royal Navy Wildcat squadrons? Royal Navy Wildcat squadron, so 825 Naval Air Squadron, um, again based here at Yeovilton, a new squadron, grew out of 702 Naval Air Squadron uh, and 825 was formed um, about a year ago or so now. Um, a frontline Wildcat squadron doing both the training for crews converting from Lynx to Wildcat, but also providing operational flights um, to ships and other detachments around the world. The first naval Wildcat completed a, a nine-month deployment on board HMS Lancaster just before Christmas, getting home in December, hugely successful again, with, with um, really high availability rates and a brilliant capability in the aircraft. And then we have a flight based ashore, um, supporting a, an operation in the Middle East as well. And uh, the Commando Merlin is arrived at Yeovilton. Commando Merlin ar arrived again um, um, just before I arrived here. So, so it's been here about a year, um, having the, the crews um, converted to the aircraft up at RAF Benson and then brought the aircraft back here. So we have one squadron, 846 Naval Air Squadron, um, based here with Merlin Mark 3s. They're going through a slight modification to put um, folding rotor heads on them uh, and uh, therefore we can take them to sea. We've got the clearances to take them to sea uh, and those aircraft are now arriving. I think we've got four of them here at Yeovilton now with another three arriving over the next month or so out of the factory in, in uh, Yeovil. Um, and the second squadron, 845 squadron, is currently based up at RAF Benson, um, almost completely converted and just waiting for space here before they come back in June of this year. Uh, and at that stage, the transition from the Royal Air Force to the Royal Navy of the Merlin Mark III's will be complete. And the 845 Naval Air Squadron, I understand, are also deploying to Norway in their commando role? Absolutely. So, so they are now a frontline squadron. They converted to, to the aircraft, um, but as I said, it's still based at RF Benson for another um, few months only. They've deployed out to the States last year to support the Marines in 29 Palms on a big um, Marine exercise out there and um, just about to go out to Norway uh, over the next couple of weeks to do their winter training out there. And on the uh, Future Force 2020, how are you preparing um, for global contingency? So, so no changes really. Um, the the Defence Review, which was published um, towards the tail end of last year, um, has, was a good result for the Navy. Um, it set us on, on a sort of way forward. For the first time since the end of the Second World War, the Navy is growing. But for Yeovilton, we were all, already in that mindset. So for us, it's no change. We're continuing down the path we were following um, with these two new aircraft types, both Merlin and Wildcat, um, coming into Yeovilton and, and great capabilities for the future, for the next 20 or 30 years. And support to the new carrier force? Yeah, um, all of these aircraft will of course um, embark in the new carriers. Um, very, very soon Queen Elizabeth's ship's company will move on board to the ship and, and then 
um, in the autumn, she will go to sea for her first set of, of sea trials. And we expect to have helicopters on board almost from day one. And then as soon as she's ready to deploy, we'll have air groups embarked, which will include aircraft from Yeovilton, I have no doubt.